Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to install the Apple Mac OS as a VM on VMware Workstation. So normally when you use VMware Workstation, you're probably used to creating Windows and Linux virtual machines and not Mac OS virtual machines, but it is possible to do. And when you go to create a new virtual machine, you might have noticed that you don't even have a Mac OS option, but there is a way to actually add that and we have a video on how to do that, so I'll put that in the description. So first, you might want to uh, do that step and get the Mac OS uh, VM option in your VMware workstation, then install it from there. So what we're going to do, so just like we would install any other virtual machine, new virtual machine, and we're going to do typical, and then we're going to install the operating system later. And so see, now we have this Mac OS an option here from that other step that I was just talking about. So check out that video and see how you could do that. And then once you have this, you could pick your version. So we're going to be using uh, version 11 here for the version we're using. And then next. And then you could give it a name. I'm going to put it there. One of my other VMs. And click on next. And then it kind of gives you suggestions just like it does for Windows. You know, it suggests an 80 gig uh, virtual disk file. I like to use single files for my VMs. It makes it a little cleaner. And then you can customize the hardware if you like. It gives you the default four gigs of memory. Let's kind of bump that up to six. And then two processors, fine. Or actually one processor, two cores. Eh, let's just give it another one. We got the hardware for it. Okay, and then if you wanted to use you know, typical NAT and your CD-ROM there and sound card and USB, you know, USB 3.1 is suggested. And we'll click on close there. Okay, so that'll finish that. And so now we're just going to go mount the uh, Mac OS ISO file. I have that right here. We're going to do Big Sur 11. And it's up to you to download your Mac OS ISO because um, Apple doesn't just give them out unless you have an Apple account and a Mac to download it from. But you could find many websites where you could actually download ISO files. Just be careful where you're getting it from. Make sure it's a legitimate site so you're not downloading something that's going to mess up your computer. So we'll click OK to that. And then we will start the VM. Wait for it to load here. Let's go full screen. So this first part takes a few minutes, obviously, so we'll be pausing the video for that. All right, so then we have our uh, language set up here, so we'll pick English, and then the next arrow here. And check the volumes. Okay, so here's the trick. So if we just go, okay, we just want to install Mac OS, continue. I'll show you what happens here. Continue. Accept the license agreement twice. Now it says select the disk where you want to install Mac OS and you might be you know sitting here waiting for something to show up but it's not going to show up because this requires you to do some uh, disk partitioning yourself here before installing. It's not like Windows where it just recognizes the attached disk that you created with the VM so we're gonna uh, exit this the installer. And we're gonna go to the disk utility continue and so what you want to do is you want to go up to the top here and find your VMware hard drive. And it tells you, I see it's uninitialized, and that's the 80 gigs that it gave it. So we just want to right-click on it and erase it. And now this is asking what it's going to be for the new partition or volume. We're going to call it Mac OS. And we'll leave the defaults. Click on Erase. So it's erasing the... A VMware drive and creating the Mac OS one. So that's done. Okay, so now we have this Mac OS here ready to go. So we just need to quit this. Go back to install. Click on continue. Continue. Agree twice. And now we have the disk there. So we're going to just click on continue there. And then just Wait for the process to finish, so we'll pause and be back when this is done.
Okay, so now we're finally at the setup screen here. Pick our country here. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up. Okay, I guess you can probably change these settings if you want to go to custom my settings, but everything looks good here. Accessibility, we don't need any of those. Data and privacy, we'll just leave the defaults for now. Okay, so now if you want to transfer information from another computer, so if you're going from Mac to Mac or from Windows PC, but we're not, not going to worry about that because this is a new installation. Okay, so now we need an Apple ID. Okay, so now we have the iCloud terms and conditions here. Okay, so now it's going to take your uh, name from your Apple ID here and create a computer account. And then optional if you want to put a password hint and if you want to use your Apple ID to reset this password in case you forget it. Okay, so now it's setting up our iCloud account. Okay, so now you have the option to use the Express Setup or we could customize it. So we're just going to use the Express Setup because we could change all this stuff later. And then Analytics, so if you want to share CRASS usage data with developers, you could check that box. We'll leave it unchecked. Okay, it's telling you about the screen time information here. Your insights, we can just continue past that. Okay, and if you want to share your iCloud analytics with Apple, you could do that. And then if you want to ask, be able to ask Siri, you know, you'd have to have a microphone, obviously, to do this. So we're going to disable that because we don't have a microphone on this computer. Now you could choose your theme, light, dark, and auto. Uh, we'll just stick with the default light. You can change that later if you want in preferences. Okay, so now we have our Mac desktop, except it's not really fitting on the screen here. Well, because of the uh, resolution I'm using for the video, but at least we, you could get the idea. You have your menus up here, you know, your Finder, and then your all your uh, icon apps down here, for your Launchpad, and Safari, and Messages, and Mail, and all that good stuff. So, once again, you know, not a complicated process. It seems like it takes quite a bit longer to install this Mac OS than it does to install Windows. But once you get the uh, option set for the um, virtual machine type, then it's pretty simple to install. Just follow the prompts and just wait a while for the installation to complete. And then you'll have your Mac OS uh, ready to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.